The political season is already silly. In a mere eight days of this year, our senses bashed and boorishly tested with the likes of yet another round of foolishness. Read my lips. The Constitution's clear. Ted Cruz can become POTUS. Several days spent frothing over the shoes worn by Marco Rubio. Earlier this week, I told him, get yourself a new pair of shoes. Jettison the go-go boots. Get a real pair of boots with real heels, okay? Cal Manor at the debate next week. All appetizers, just to get you ready. As we set the table and get back to delivering the perfect and most apropos end of your week, very simply put, the political punching bag. It's what you need. It's what you must have at the end of the week. Rock on, true believers. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Monday right back here on The Hard Line. Donald Trump said he thinks the media is starting to like him. Then cable news said, yeah, but we also like natural disasters. I mean, there's a lot of <laughs> weird way of putting it, but good thing. Meanwhile, Donald Trump's wife, Melania, gave an interview and she said she remembers her first date with Donald like it was two months ago. <laughs> then it got awkward when she was like, but the marks on my wall clearly show it's been 17 years, two months, and six days. You are in a, a feud with Donald Trump right now. Do you know this? No, I don't. But this is very exciting. I don't know Samuel L. Jackson, to the best of my knowledge, haven't played golf with him and think he does too many TV commercials. Boring, not a fan. Oh. If we can prove that Donald Trump is lying when he says he doesn't know you, this might be the thing that finally brings down his campaign. And Hillary Clinton said that she would investigate UFOs if she becomes president. And said that even uh, aliens have already visited Earth. <laughs> not to be outdone, Bill actually volunteered to be probed. He said, I'm down with whatever, I'm down. What about on drug, drug policy reform? You're not going to talk about pot, are you? Are you a cop? Because if you're a cop, you have to tell me <laughs> that you're a cop or this is entrapment. I, I thought we said before we would not talk about pot, Stephen. You tried to sell me pot backstage. <laughs> no. Donald Trump is, in, is uh, now accusing Ted Cruz of having a Canadian passport. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Cruz said he doesn't have a Canadian passport, but like everyone else, he'll get one the minute Donald Trump becomes president. That's the idea. Every time I think about those kids, it gets me mad. And by the way, it happens on the streets of Chicago every day. Wow. I mean, Obama's uh, tears prompted a swift reaction from former Speaker John Boehner. The president has never respected that crying is what I do. Nobody in Washington ever cried before John Boehner started crying. And now he's Mr. Waterworks on live television? GTFO Obama. Tears are my thing, okay? No matter how opposed to Obama's policies some people may be, or how cynical their politics, they have to at least acknowledge and respect the raw authenticity of that emotion. Or so you would think. Where was the wiping away of tears and the emotion after, after the Paris attacks? He can't pull that kind of passion for anything but this, and I feel bad about those kids in Connecticut, but it's only about this that he gets so upset about, and never about terror. I would check that podium for like a raw onion or some no more uh, tears. I mean, I just, it's, it's not wow. really believable. Are you f***ing kidding me? <laughs> Shedding tears when you think of murdered children is not really believable? You know what, there is something here that's not really believable. The fact that the rest of us have to share the title of human being with you.